Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had gotten done getting most of the groundwork set for how we're going to finish this. And now there is just the star map to collect. And then we finish the master stroke of our plan. Da da! Alright. Now that that's collected, we head out this way. Or at least it's supposed to be that simple. Hmm. Unless I forgot something. Oh, yeah. I did forget something. There was a ceremonial Sith lightsaber I was supposed to pick up, too. And there it is. Perfect. Sith lightsaber. And the star map. And we're good. Also... Is that something I can technically equip or no? Um, yes. Technically, it is. This lightsaber is quite intricate in its design. The hilt covered with, covered in delicate runes and inlaid with black markings. No doubt the purpose of the weapon is primarily ceremonial. Though it certainly seems to perform as a lightsaber should. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. And, ah, oh, there they are. So, you return to us with the lightsaber in hand. Mm -hmm. As I knew you would. Yes. The has served you well. You took oh. a great risk in acquiring the artifact. You used your mind and your power. No peaceful meditation. No pacifism. Well... You must fight in order to achieve. This gives you your passion. This makes you stronger. This is what makes you superior. Uh -huh. That is the lesson we teach with that part of the final test. Do you understand? I mean, the Sith are not the only ones who fight and take risks. True, but most would say they fight only when they must, or not at all. We are the ones who know that struggle is what makes us superior. Are you saying a Jedi couldn't have gotten this lightsaber? When a Jedi acts, it is with skill, true. But the Jedi teach you that your passions are counterproductive. That strength is only found in peace. Did you not feel a moment of excitement in the tomb? Did your passions not flow and make you feel stronger and more alive? What purpose would be served by restricting yourself from such? I would say only the purpose of the Jedi. Through this, they would control you and restrict your potential. Uh-huh. I wouldn't say I exerted myself to get this. Perhaps not to someone of your natural strength. The point is in the recognition of the nature of the act, rather than its sheer difficulty. Uh-huh. I don't believe you. I don't feel superior to anyone. If you came to the Academy, you must have felt the stirrings within you that cry out for the freedom of the dark side. That cry out for release. I can only show you the path that will lead to power and superiority. You have followed it this far. You must decide if you are capable of continuing. Aha. Uh -huh. And if I'm not? This is where your path ends, young one. There is no turning back once you have embarked on it. I see. So, this is basically... Forcing me now that... If I've already gotten this far, I'm either going to be a Sith or not. Okay. I think I understand where this is going. Good. The last part of your test will now commence. Here, you will learn the lesson of competition. All life must compete in order to flourish. Uh -huh. Such is the natural way of the universe. To stand right. still is to know death. One must always be moving forward. So it is the same amongst the Sith. Compete or die, mercy is irrelevant. So it behooves you in this final test to strike down one you are familiar with for no other reason than to prove you are superior. 
and without mercy. Normally, this would be against another student. You, however, get a special treat. You will fight Euthora here, my own apprentice. Mm. What? Mm. So this is what you had planned all along? You wish me killed? Indeed. You have become too ambitious, Euthora. It is time for you to die and someone more talented to take your place. No. It is time for you to die, Master. My pupil stands with me. Oh, is this true, young one? You wish to join Euthora in her foolish scheme? Well, I wouldn't say foolish. But, uh... Yeah, I'm with Euthora on this one. Do you hear that, my master? That is the sound of a new leader rising to replace you. So the time has come, has it? You mm -hmm. both wish to stand against a Sith master and perish, do you? Then so be it. Right. Uh... There we go. Put in one of those. And just more... Oh, uh oh Okay, there we go. Down. And a new order is brought to the Academy. Excellent. While I do like you, truly, I'm afraid I'm not the type to share power with anyone. Even you. But I don't want any power. If only I could believe you. Let's get this over with. Quickly. Okay. Yeah. So. All right. And that should be stunner. There we go. Oh, stop. I healed. You are too strong for me. I was a fool to think otherwise. I am at your mercy. You ask for mercy. You, a Sith. I suppose I am. Something tells me that you are not like the other students. You're right. I don't know why that is. You're very like right. The first time back at the cantina, wasn't I? There is something different about you. More so than I even suspect. Mm-hmm. All right. Indeed, I am Darth Revan. I see. I should have known right from the beginning. Darth you Revan. No longer I was trying to also drink. Lord you once were, are you? You are mm -hmm. Revan, and yet you are not. What I sense of your destiny is, is still unclear. So what happens now? Will you show me mercy? Will you just let me leave? Uh, <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. You could come with me. That's tempting, but I don't think I could. Your path. It goes somewhere I can't follow. Maybe you need to think about your own path. I suppose you could be right. All the things I wanted to do, all the wrongs I wanted to right, I haven't done any of it. They just get farther and farther from my mind. Yeah. All I've cared about is power and myself. This isn't the person I was. There's still time to change that. You're right. Maybe what I needed most was peace after all. The Jedi tried to show me that. I don't know if I can ever go back to them, but my place isn't here. Thank you. Thank you for showing me that. You have a destiny, my friend, and I wish you well on your way to it. May the Force be with you. May it be with you as well. And goal completed. Now there is no one to lead the academy, as Uthar is now gone. Oh, three thousand credits in a Sinigar war suit. Not bad. And let's see how it's listed for the whole thing. Uh, discovered the last of the star maps. Not necessarily what I meant. There we go. There we are. The way of the Sith. Your final test within the tomb is over. And Master Uthar is dead. Yathura turned on you, but you defeated her and spared her life. She decided to leave the Sith and at least speak to the Jedi that once had trained her. For the moment, 
The Academy will not know that Master Uthar has been killed, so it may be a good time to leave Korriban while you still can. Alrighty. Woo. Active. There we go. All right. And with that, we can leave. And good. Perfect. Head out to the Valley of the Dark Lords. And here we are. And not much else changes. <laughs> not much else changes about how the Sith operate for now. They're just going to do this because, like, like it said in the mission, uh, and like I said reading it, that uh, no one's going to be quite aware of uh, the fact that the Sith Academy command structure has now basically been disintegrated. So, uh, wahoo! <laughs> I guess is really the way to say it. We did our job. And no one will be the wiser. Yet. Oh, wait. Maybe someone knows something. You there. How is it that you're leaving Nagasadao's tomb by yourself? You went in for your final test, didn't you? Where is Master Uthar? Uh, hmm. Well, crap. Uh, <laughs> I have three options. I could just tell them outright that he's dead and I did it. I can persuade them that I'm Revan and I did it. Or I could just play dumb. I'm just going to go the other route. I am Revan. I have killed the Master. You must bow down before me. You lie. You could never have killed the Master. All right. I'm not lying, fool. Do you wish me to show you? You are not Revan. Quick, attack the traitor! But even if it's not Revan, what if Master Uthar is actually dead? Someone who could kill the Master. If Master Uthar is dead, then he was a weak fool. Now attack! I shall be the new Dark Lord of Korriban. You will be... <laughs> okay. Okay. That is now the Sith descending into their base nature. Conniving, murderous crazies, <laughs> for lack of a better phrase. All right, well. And... Whoop. At this point, it's just funny. <laughs> it's all of them and does the same amount of damage. And ta-da. <laughs> they never got a chance to hit me once. Oh, that's funny. Now, if that doesn't show off that I'm just an absolute Sith badass... Like I was saying. Or technically Jedi badass. Well, hello. So much for, uh... So much for, uh... <laughs> getting out without them noticing. That was a noise that shouldn't have happened. <laughs> there we go. I'm sure that, uh... <laughs> I'm sure that Jahani is holding her own fairly well. I've already... Yes, I already have looted that. Okay. Alright. Mission... Let's go. Yep. 
I know it. Jahani's holding her own. Doing fairly well, actually. Okay. There we go. And... Job done. I guess. Kind of curious. Well, that was quick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can we spare her? Can we... I guess not. <sighs> oh well. She was too deep in the Sith shenanigans. There's nothing we could really do. Ferkrun Crystal? Hm. Not sure what that is. Or at least I don't remember. Adrenal stamina and some credits. That ain't too bad. Okay. That's all of these rooms emptied. Further down. Ah, oh, that's another Sith Captain. Oh, and a whole bunch of Sith over here. Jesus. There we go. That's what y'all get. Alright. Okay. There's no other things to loot here. Let us move. And... No one down here. Ooh. Sorry, I didn't mean to yawn. And then there should be no one down here. Yep, no one down here. We have done the thing. Now we might as well go down the other way and take care of those ones. And, yep, there we go. I knew there was still more. And, whoop! There we go. That takes care of them. And... No one else to fight. Okay. All right, we have done it. We have done the ending that I wanted to do. I was kind of hoping I could spare Lachelle, but I guess not. Ah, uh, well. Well, just making sure I don't miss out on any loot <laughs> from everyone I just finished uh, taking care of. I think that was everything. Okay, so, time for me to head out the door. Sith Academy is no more. No more populated by students or prospective Sith. Didn't I just empty this? Oh, apparently there was another one in the same exact spot. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Oh, crap. And there we go.
Any loot from that one? No. Okay. Fair enough. And... Okay, the robots aren't going to care. Makes sense. They're probably happy, if anything. Okay, into Dresh Day we go. Does the combat continue? Nobody knows. Nope. Doesn't. We're done. Okay, who are you? Dak Vesser. If you must know, I intend to take the first ship off this rock. Why should that interest you? I trust you got whatever you wanted from the tombs. Mm-hmm. How do you know Juhani? Why don't you ask her? Because I asked you. She and I were students together at Dantooine for a time. Mm -hmm. We were close, and we shared doubts about the Jedi's ways. I left for the Sith because I thought it would be better here. It looks like Jahani changed her mind and stayed with the Jedi after all. Mm -hmm. You're doing maybe? Yeah. Anyway, I'm done with the Jedi, the Sith, and with her. Just leave me alone. Okay. Fair enough. Why are you leaving exactly? I already said, didn't I? I don't want to still be around when they start asking questions about you. Well, yeah, that's fair. But where will you go? Why do you care? I've no intention of opposing you. Perhaps you could go back to the Jedi. I did. I don't know. I'll think about it. Just leave me alone, Jahani. All right. Fair enough. Then Never you mind. Be. Will do. Have fun. Okay. Now we are as done as I think we're going to be. Uh, is this room? Yeah, that's the main lobby. That's what it is, I remember now. Forget what... Oh, I see. Yeah, this was the Zerka offices thing. Hell no. And with that... I don't think I need anything more from Bree there. And... Head right out of here. We are all done. Perfect. I wonder, can I have a conversation with the rest of the crew? My Cathar blood seethes at the thought of that man still running free. I cannot stand still while I think about it, but but I will not give in to the dark side either. He will pay for his crimes, though. He will most likely be following us, me. If we could find him first, then he may not be able to set in motion whatever he has in store for us. That is very fair. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to make that work. All right. What? Let's talk to Karth. Yes, what's on your mind? Uh, I guess not. You got it. <laughs> Nothing but, uh, asking what's this place about. But we already know what this place is about. So that'd be silly. Zelbar. So uh, how do you feel? Oh, no, I think I already asked that. Um, have anything more to say about yourself? You've seen more than I would have allowed and taught me some things, too. I'm grateful for that. Oh, well, okay. I'm also itching my eye because it is being aggravating right now. It will be a while before I know what my role will be in the galaxy, or, or in making the Kashyyyk truly free. I have a lot to learn. Well, that's fair. That is more than fair. Okay, give me a second. My eye is a little more difficult than I think it should be. Ah. <sighs> okay. I think I got it settled. Alright. I wish you well. Let's get going. I will follow. Alright, well I would hope so. Okay, I thought my eye was dealt with. I guess it's not. Give me a second. I need to move the microphone and stuff. Boy.
Okay, now I finally got it to stop. Boy, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate when that happens. All right, Jolie. On your mind, do you? Uh, do you want to talk about the war now? Not particularly. No time like the present. I suppose you're going to nag me until I cough it up, aren't you? Yeah, a little. Nothing is private anymore. It looks like. Nope. Uh, there's no escaping it, I guess. So be it. My wife's name was Nayama. She was the Yukatis enforcer who shot me out of the sky, if you remember. What does your wife have to do with the war? My wife had plenty to do with the war. Upon meeting her, I knew right away that she was strong in the force. Hmm. That's why she was able to shoot me down. Nayama was a marvel of a woman. Fiery, determined, smart. She dragged me to the capital and foiled three of my attempts to escape prison. Oh, and that body. All right, all right. Let's, let's get off of this and go back to the initial question of the war. Well, yes, that. Mm -hmm. Needless to say, I eventually won her over. That was after I kidnapped her upon being broken out of the Yukata's prison, mind you. Uh-huh. Uh, that's another story entirely. Yeah. At any rate, I wanted to train her in the Jedi way. The Council refused my request, naturally. I was still a Padawan at the time. Mm -hmm. I was an experienced Padawan, surely, but not yet ready to be a full Jedi, and certainly not ready to train another, especially not one so old as my wife. So... You're saying you were an idiot? <laughs> well, I mean, that's an option. So you disobeyed the Council, like I did. I did. I wasn't the first and I won't be the last. The problem with self-righteous folk is they think they're more right than everyone else. Yeah. I believed in her and trained her in secret. I ignored her willful nature. I loved her too much to see fault in her. Uh-huh. She loved me too. I know she did. At the time, our love was a shared bliss. Better than anything I had known before or since. So what happened? Exar Kun is what happened. Nayama was inspired by Exar's promises of a new golden age. She wanted to join him. Mm -hmm. She came to me, pleading with me to throw aside what she called the decrepit trappings of the Jedi. To join her in Exar's war. So she had fallen to the dark side. I hadn't thought so. Not right then. I was too proud to believe that of her. I had trained her myself. I loved her. Mm -hmm. I pleaded with her to reconsider, to think about all that she was throwing away, to think about what she would become. She would have none of it. Finally, in frustration, she attacked me. She drew her lightsaber and attempted to strike me down. It was a scene being repeated everywhere throughout the galaxy. Pupil against master. In my case, it was a long and terrible battle, but I defeated her. You killed her. No, no. I had her at my mercy, disarmed and defenseless. She looked up at me and she knew. She knew I couldn't do it. Hmm. I don't think I could have either. But I should have. Sometimes I convince myself otherwise, but it's no use. She had fallen to the dark side when she raised her saber against me, and I let her go. To my shame, she went on to kill many Jedi during the war, until she herself was slain in the final battle. I grieved for her death, inevitable as it was, even as the Jedi Council put me on trial for my actions once the war was over. They put you on trial? I had trained Nayama against their wishes. Mm -hmm. I had failed to kill her when I had the chance, and she went on to kill others. Not to mention that I had remained a Padawan throughout the war. A formality, perhaps, but with the trial, it had to be decided if I was worthy to become a Jedi at all. It was a mm -hmm. travesty, of course. I told you that even the Jedi were capable of great injustices, didn't I? Uh... I mean, all these answers are pretty good, but uh, they take drastically different directions in this conversation. So you think you didn't deserve to be punished? Of course I deserve to be punished. They found me innocent anyway. Even though I deserved every punishment and more, they let me go. Mitigating circumstances, they said. I deserved compassion, they said. Mm -hmm. They said I had learned wisdom the hard way. 
For all I had done during the war, they wished to raise me to full Jedi status at long last. That, that was when the Jedi left me. That was when they failed me. No, you're wrong. You did deserve compassion. For my pride? For my cowardice? Which do you think is the act more befitting the Jedi? They may have been able to forgive me. I could never forgive myself. And you still believe love is worth the risk? I... yes. I do, I suppose. Does that surprise you? Uh, it's all so Not long really. ago. Lost in the winds, I suppose. Nobody cares what an old man believes anymore, do they? Let's continue on with the task at hand. I would prefer to think of the present today. Okay. That's fair. Although, we did learn a hell of a lot with that. I'm kind of curious if I can go further. Got something on your mind? Do you? Tap the microphone a little bit. Oh, I can't. There isn't any more oh, to have. Let's. Okay. Na -da 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 -da. You successfully convinced Jolie to talk about the Sith War, how his wife turned to the dark side, and how he ultimately abandoned the Order for not holding him as responsible for her actions as he held himself. You might be able to ask him more about this past a little later, once you have gained more experience. Alright. Just have to wait, I guess. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, apparently nothing more. Your choice. Because, uh, there's not much else I can do. Alright, so, the lightsabers. Got the sigil and opala. And we got the crate dragon pearl and rubat. Let's see. Rubat is plus one damage and attack. Next door is... Same amount of attack, but increases the critical threat range. It's more damage and blaster deflection. Luxum's damage to droids and two attack. The Fairkren is even more damage to droids and two attack. Sigil is more damage and... Same amount of attack. Solari is a lot of damage and a lot of attack. But it can only be used by a light side Jedi. Alright. Okay, cool. Hmm. What about the other one? Sigil there and Opala. Okay. Sigil... Solari there instead. Extra damage versus the dark side. More physical damage. And a plus three to attack. Okay. Um. Huh. I'm kind of, hmm, kind of want to add more to attack, technically, than what Opala will give me. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep Sigil in there. Oh, but it doesn't give me, oh, wait. Gives me more range with that on physical attack. So this could actually do more, a lot more damage than this one. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. And. Changing out the Rubot Crystal. Okay. All right. That's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Get the next door one on 
that and mm, yeah might as well go with that Damond, which was more attack there you go and there you go all right I'm okay with that okay 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 Zalbar's blaster I could actually upgrade pretty far that ain't too bad can I do the same thing now with this nope I can do the energy cell but that's about it okay um that's all okay all right it's all upgraded as far as it's gonna let me this is upgraded as far as it's gonna let me Kalo Nord's battle armor I forget who has that equipped but There we go. Pull that off of there. For when I have armor, I can adjust for people. There we go. There we go. That should be good. I think that is as powered up as my equipment could possibly be. I think... I think we're good now. I think we're as good as we're going to get. Uh, Equipment-wise, can I change anyone else's? Nope. Crap. Well, I guess we just gotta move on. Move on. There we go. Manon, Corban, Tatooine, Yavin. The Starforge system. This planet has no entry in the Republic archives. We could go there right now, but I would rather go back to Yavin right now because there might be more things we can pick up from that trader before we head out. It's worth a shot, right? And away we go! Of course. Gonna be a bit of space combat. Alright, here we go. Oh, damn it. Okay. Perfect. Trying to lead the shot while also looking at the sun. This is not easy, let me tell y'all. <laughs> Jeebus. Alright. Got it. Okay, so you're doing that, huh? Perfect. I think that was the fastest I've done that yet. <laughs> Honestly, I think it is. All right. And we head on out. To that. Station on the oven floor. And a quick landing. There we go. All right. And with that, we head out and see what's up on the station. 
going on. And all of that. Uh, might as well bring mission. She's the one who does the skills better than almost anyone else in the party. All right. Head on to the far, far back. All right. Hey, Savan. Well, you're back. I was just taking a look at the few new things I thought you might like, and I... Of course. Oh. You! How did you get in here? We have our ways, Rodian. Just because you didn't hear a stock doesn't mean we can't. And your own stealth units have proven most effective. Haven't I told you guys to get lost already? I think not, human. We're here to teach you a lesson, Subam. And you as well, human. Unfortunately, you won't live to correct your mistakes. Well... Didn't expect combat when I got here. But that's fine. I can deal with this, probably. Alright. So far, so good. Well, should probably do some healing. Okay. Uh... I was about to say, mission is not going to survive this fight unless I do healing now. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. Okay. Oh, boy. Healing is being difficult. <laughs> so I guess I gotta do it the cheatsy doodle way. With a little bit of... Going all the way down to life support pack. And there we go. Forcing it that way. Alright, okay. Let's do one of these. Oh boy. Um, fine, we'll just do this to you here. How about that? Alright. There we go. Uh, let's do <laughs> that again with the healing. <laughs> oh boy, this fight is taking a lot longer than I expected it would. And it's uh, doing a lot more damage than I figured it would. Connie is not going to survive this. Oh, maybe she is. Oh! Didn't realize I was that far into the light side. Can't complain about that. Okay. Well... Time for her to get treat injury to the highest point. And go with that. Good. Um, that's probably a good idea. But... Yeah, that's good. Okay. Call that good. Switch back. There we go. And the leveling up healed her as well. So, win-win. There we go. And there we go. Perfect. And we finish off the combat with this guy. Whew. That fight was a little hectic, and I'm not surprised that mission couldn't survive all of it. Those trans... trans... Dosh, I can't talk. Those Trandoshan scum. They couldn't get more out of me, so they tried to kill me instead. Hopefully I'll have time before they send someone else to investigate. Maybe rig their ship to take off somewhere else. Thank you for your help, at least. I know I couldn't have taken them on on my own. <laughs> yeah. I'll let you look at my special stash. It's the stuff I wasn't showing them. It won't be cheap, but if you want it, you can buy it. Well, I'll... Righty, then. Environmental Bastion Armor. Just offers complete immunity to everything. It's medium armor, but it's at least 
immune to everything. A modified environmental suit. This armor gives the wearer complete protection from the elements as well as superior combat protection. With additional enhancements, it can be converted into a completely contained environmental system and shield the wearer from outside radiation as well. Because it is upgrade double. <laughs> wow. And he was not kidding that it's not cheap. Jesus. Okay. Um... The Assault Blade. That's the Vibro Sword. Advanced Vibro Sword is a miracle of miniaturization technology. Not only does it deliver increased functionality over a normal Vibro Sword, it also has capacitors which discharge upon contact with the target. Extra space within the blade can be utilized by a variety of common upgrade modules. So I can upgrade it to Mantle of the Force, which is an upgrade for the lightsaber. <laughs> hmm. The Mantle of the Force is an item assembled by Svam Tan from pieces found in the ruins of Exar Kun's temples on the fourth moon orbiting Yavin. It appears to be the remains of an even older artifact of an unknown origin. It is not known if it was used by Exar Kun or just uncovered when his temples were destroyed, nor is it known what the original properties of the item were, but given the current abilities in its original state, it must have been fearsome indeed. The mantle is a crystalline lattice, resembling a lightsaber crystal in many ways, but having a, the additional property of being able to radically alter the flow of energy that passes through it. When combined with other crystals, the mantle warps their properties, often enhancing them to incredible levels. Additionally, the mantle seems to almost act as a focusing tool for force-sensitive individuals, leading to the idea that the original artifact may once have been a powerful tool of the Sith, or perhaps something they took with them when the Dark Jedi originally split from the Order. Heart of the Guardian, which is apparently the same thing, just a different item entirely. Though its origins have been lost, the legendary artifact known as the Heart of the Guardian was rumored to have been instrumental in the founding of the Guardian Order of Jedi. Nothing further is mentioned in any Jedi archive, but both Sith and Jedi whisper their own legends. According to the Jedi, the Heart will appear in a time of greatest turmoil and deliver the galaxy into salvation. The Sith, however, believe it to be an object of their heritage, which will bring the galaxy under their dominion. The Heart of the Guardian appears to be a magnificently shaped lightsaber crystal of unknown composition. Analysis by Zavam Tan has yielded inconclusive results, not being able to identify what mineral it's made of. Zavam has even begun to wonder if it is a normal crystal at all, for at times it almost seems as if it were alive. All known lightsaber crystals seem to have a strange resonance with the Heart of the Guardian, their properties being altered or enhanced when in close proximity to it. Additionally, energy focused through the heart results in a beam of unique clarity and color. Interesting. I can get lightsaber crystals. Very unique lightsaber crystals. Interesting. I just unfortunately don't have the money for both. But, well, at least she got the level up. Just she had to survive the fight, <laughs> technically. Oh, well, if I get enough money from these guys, uh, and I might. <laughs> I might at this rate. Getting a thousand each at this rate. <laughs> Okay, I might actually get enough money at this rate. Maybe. Maybe. Whoop, whoop, yep. Well, I'll defi I definitely have the groundwork to get that more, <laughs> more money. Okay, well, I am significantly over time. 
I need to end the episode here for right now. But, we have the option to get some really powerful Jedi artifacts. And we completely collapsed the Sith command structure on Korriban. I'd say we did a good fucking day. <laughs> so... Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games. And, well, I've done the best work I ha could ever do, possibly. And have gotten done with doing what was absolutely necessary to destroy the Sith. And get some cool things <laughs> that I can't wait to possibly be able to afford and try out. It's going to be great. <laughs> Honestly, it's going to be great for you.